Hi guys, today we will see how to derive the scalar potential from the two electrostatic Maxwell equation. The divergence of E equals to 4 pi this charge density and the rotor of E equals to 0. Which means that uh, there is no rotating sources of the electric field. We will begin from the second equation. And during the Stokes theorem, the surface integral of the rotor of E equals to the closed path integral of the E dot dL. Here I forgot the dS. This is equal to zero by equation two, and that means that the closed path integral of E dot dL equals to zero, which means that this integral doesn't depend on the initial and last point of the path. So I can write just integral from a to b of e dot dr equals to some scalar function phi r a minus phi r b. So I can write this on the one dimension just like integral from A to B of the X component of the electric field, dx, equals to phi x0, y0, minus phi x0 plus dx, y0. We can write it at this form, minus d phi to dx, dx, integral because this is just like the derivative of the function and we get that the e x equals to minus d phi to dx if we do the same procedure for y and z we get the same result so from here we get that the electric field actually equals to minus the gradient of phi this is so important result, so I will write it here. And we can substitute it at the first equation. And we will get that the divergence of minus gradient phi equals to 4 pi the charge density. The divergence of gradient is at the Laplacian and we will get the Laplacian of phi is equal to minus 4 pi rho. Now this equation is the Poisson equation and we can just solve it by the superposition principle which implies that if we got here the axis, this is x, this is y, and this is z, and here we got some source, this is our source, and this is an infinitesimal piece of our source, and here is the point that we want to know what is the potential or the electric field at this point, and we get this vector from the infinitesimal piece from the source and here a vector from the origin to the point and here a vector from the origin to the infinitesimal piece and this is Ri this is R And this one is R. We get by vector analysis that R is equal to R minus R. And I will write this equation as Laplacian of G equals to minus 4 pi. 
delta of R minus Ri. The superposition principle is just to take the contribution of every infinitesimal piece at the source and sum, and sum it, we will get the total contribution from the source at this point. Now we will solve the Poisson equation of a point charge. The data function, it's because the density of the a point charge is infinity. So to solve this equation, I will first solve it at the case that R doesn't equal to zero, uh, because at that point, the, the delta function is equal to zero. At every point, that doesn't equal to R equals to zero, which means that the Laplacian of G equals zero at R doesn't equal to zero. Uh, because we are talking about the general case, so we will use the spherical coordinates. So the Laplacian at spherical coordinates, it's one divided by R squared, d to dr, r squared, dg to dr equals zero. It's so simple equation. I will just uh, do it in a few st steps. We can multiply by r squared and get d to dr, r squared, dg to dr equals to zero. Integration by dr, we will get r squared dg to dr equals to some uh, to some constant a now we can divide by r squared and get dg to dr equals to a divided by r squared now we can just integrate again and get g equals to a divided by r. Uh, yeah, we got here some minus, I just uh, include it at the constant a. And we get from here a divided by r minus ri. I will use this result and this equation uh, for every r. And uh, it's by the Gauss theorem. I will write the Laplacian of G as divergence of gradient G. Okay, it's equal to minus 4 pi delta R. Doing a volume integral for the both sides, we get that integral of divergence of gradient J g, sorry, equals to minus 4 pi integral delta r dv. The integral at the delta function, uh, at volume delta function, it's equals to 1, and we get from the Gauss theorem that this integral equals to surface integral on gradient g dv it's equal to minus 4 pi now the surface integral at spherical coordinates it's equal to uh, it's, uh, it's equal to integral from 0 to 2 pi integral from 0 to pi the gradient it's just the derivative by r and it's just dg to dr and the jacobian is r squared sinus theta d theta d phi equals to minus 4 pi and we forgot the Nothing. It's okay. And now we just derive the g by r and get minus a integral 
from 0 to 2 pi, 1 divided by r squared, r squared sine theta d theta d phi equals to minus 4 pi. This integral, sorry, it's 0 to pi. This integral actually equal to minus a dot 4 pi equals to minus 4 pi, which means that a is equal to 1. And we get that the green function of charge of point charge equals to 1 divided by r minus ri. This is the green function. Okay. So by the superposition principle, we will find the phi function. We get that g equals to 1 divided by r minus ri. And as uh, I said before, phi is just the summation of all the contribution of the point charges. So it's just summation of qi 1 divided by r minus r i. And if we take it to the continuous form, we get integral, it's a volume integral, of the charge density divided by r minus r tag dr tag so the scalar function which is the potential is just a volume integral on the charge density divided by r minus r tag that's guys i hope you understand well if you got some questions so don't hesitate to put it at the comments and don't forget to like and share thank you so much have a good time